Good morning, gamers. How is everyone doing this fantastic Friday? How are we all doing, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I am your host, John, a.k.a. Super Eye Patch Wolf, a.k.a. The Final Gamer. Uh, welcome, everyone. Welcome. It's been, it's been a long week. We've all made it. And uh, I think we should all all congratulate ourselves for that. What a, what a wonderful achievement. I think we can all agree. Oh, chat. We make our... I think last week we made our, our informal return to Silent Hill Ascension. This week we're diving all the way in, baby. We're, we're going straight in there. A withering here? That's right. A withering here. Hey, yo, just finished watching your video, which felt like a love letter to wrestling fans. What do you think about the current state of fresh wrestling, especially WWE? So I'm not going to repeat it, but if you want to go back to last week's stream, I do a full wrestling breakdown there. But what I did want to talk about was something that is, um, to put something that is wrestling adjacent, and that is Tekken 8, baby. I have completed the Tekken 8 story mode, and I wanted to share my thoughts on it. And first chat, I have, I have a question. I have a question for, for y'all. Um, what is the most important part of any Tekken game? This is a very easy question. Family, it's not family, it's not bowling, it's not old haircuts, it's not the Joe characters, it's not their hair, it's not Brian Fury, it's not mountains. Jiggle Physics, that's the wrong fighting series. Or oh, the multiple Jiggle Physics suggestions here. The background, the plot, these are all wrong. These are all completely wrong. The Mitchum is screwing each other over it. Nope. The, um, thematic depth, no. Titties, it's not. Do people, do, is Tekken the titty series now? Back in, back in my day, Dead or, Dead or Alive was the titty series. And you know what? You shouldn't form any of your opinions about uh, anything from Dead or Alive. But when you're a 15 year old who likes girls and you get that fucking PlayStation 2 game. Life altering. Life altering. Um, no, the most important part of any Tekken game is simple. It is the song that plays over the opening cinematic. That's all it is. That is the most important part of every Tekken game. Uh, people who have inspected my Tekken tier list know that that is the only criteria. I want to play... I think we should be okay for fucking DMCAs or whatever here. I want to play the intro song to Tekken 8. Now, fighting game intro songs have a very unique... Uh, attribute and that is lyrics that would be terrible in any other song are fucking awesome in fighting game intro themes okay so um ambiguous statements of like i'll take my stand it's now or never we're the new generation i'll fight my hardest you can't say shit like that in normal songs it's too fucking corny but in a fighting game intro song, it's damn near perfect. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, chat, I'm going I'm to apologize about the um, the very visible ecstasy that will be on my play on my face for the entirety of this song. Gonna turn this up a little bit. is now it's it's so good it's so fucking good can you guys not hear it he'll make his choice for good or evil! Our destiny is our connection! To most mere mortals! It's so good! It's so fucking good! It's 
It's like... Like, it's nearly awful, but it's amazing. No surrender, chat! This is the final gamer wave. Uh, like all perfect songs, it's less than two minutes in length. Um, fuck chorus, fuck bridges, fuck song structure. It's perfect the way it is. It can just start and end, chat. It's an incredible song. It's an incredible, incredible song. Uh, the whole soundtrack is absolutely just fucking insane, and I love it. Uh, so, look, Tekken 8 is unquestionably the best playing Tekken, I think, in existence. It, it's, it is so much better than all the other Tekkens that it's kind of boring and redundant to even point out the gameplay. I don't want to talk about the gameplay. I want to talk about the fucking story mode, and I want to talk about Jim, Jin motherfucking Kazama, okay? So Jin Kazama, right? He is unusual for a fighting game character because Jin Kazama only f oh, he, his first appearance is Tekken 3. And Jin Kazama, he learns Mishima style karate from his grandfather, Heihachi Mishima, okay? And so he basically plays like the previous main character, Kazuya Mishima, with a few little tweaks and a few little uh, few little um few little bells, etc. So He's, that's how he plays, but it turns out in the ending to Tekken 3, Heihachi was actually evil, which we never knew from the two previous times he'd thrown his child off a cliff. Uh, we didn't figure it out, now we get it. Heihachi, evil motherfucker, okay? Um, leads to a lot of drama within the Mishima household, but oh no, Tekken 4, Kazi is back. So now you got Heihachi grandfather, the Kazi father, and Jin the son, okay? He gets a few. He, he gets. He also gets a few moves from his mom. That is true because his mom was also in Tekken One or Two, and she is Jun Kazama. She practices Kazama style karate. Okay, and Kazama style karate isn't like Mishima style karate. It's a very defensive focused art. It's about softness. It's about like protecting things. It's not about destroying things. Tekken Four happens. Oh no, Kazi is back. But. Jin feels so betrayed and so disgusted by his demonic bloodline, because he is the devil, by the way. Like, literally the devil. Not like morally, he is biologically a devil. And Jin also is a devil, okay? So Jin is so disgusted by his own bloodline, he destroys his Mishima-style karate. He actually is like, I don't want to learn this anymore. I will learn a new way of fighting karate. He goes to Australia and he, f the motherfucker learns an Australian style of karate. And it's uh, it's like this basically Kyokushin high contact karate. It's very like sports karate orientated and it's so fucking cool. He then later on in the series around Tekken 6 or 7, Devil Jin appears and Devil Jin kind of fights with Mishima style karate, but not really. It's weird. And um, it's it's this whole big fucking thing, right? So then you get to Tekken 7. And Tekken 7, the whole story is it's the showdown between Kazuya, Jin's father, and Heihachi, Jin's grandfather, okay? And they beat the fuck out of each other. There's this bit where Kazuya's like, Heihachi, why did you kill my mother? And the camera fucking pans around, and Heihachi, the baddest man on the planet, who once headbutted a bullet out of the sky, has a fucking tear, a teardrop coming down his face. It's amazing, it's so good. Anyway, they fight, they fight, they fight. Kazuya goes full devil mode. Kazuya kills Heihachi. Probably. This is like Heihachi's second or third time dying in Tekken. We don't know if he's actually dead, but he doesn't come back in Tekken 8 unless he does in the DLC. Anyway, so that's that big fight out of the way. And then you have Tekken 8 and the, 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 the main event, the big thing, is Kazuya versus Jin, father versus son. And the whole game story is about, like, Jin rectifying this, like, struggle within himself that he's part of this cursed bloodline. Also in Tekken 6, he started a global genocide. We're just gonna, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. It's fine. It's okay. We're gonna Orichimaru it. It's not a big deal. It's, it's okay. It's fine. It, it, everyone makes mistakes. Um, and so then... The final fight is Kazuya versus Jin, and it's Angel Jin 
versus Devil Kazia in outer fucking space. I'm not joking here. They are literally riding a meteorite and beating the shit out of each other, okay? They are, like, destroying each other in space until eventually the meteor crashes down to Earth and they both emerge from the rubble having shed both their angel and devil forms. They are now back to only being humans. They can now only fight with their bodies. No more laser beams, no more Dragon Ball-esque bullshit. It's all about, it's back to the karate. And so they fight a little bit and they fight a little bit and they fight a little bit. And then eventually, So then eventually, Jin Kazama, and it's been like, it's been how many real life fucking years? Okay, wh when did Tekken 3 release? Uh, 97. So 97, it's been uh, uh, 26, 27 years, 27 real life years since Jin Kazama has used Mishima style karate and the motherfucker and it's like, oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. And it's so fucking hype. And he's fighting Kazuya with Mishma style karate. And he can't beat him. Because Kazuya Mishma never abandoned Mishima style karate. Kazuya's too strong. He's too mean. He's too fucked up. It's over. The good guy's not going to win. This isn't going to work. But then. Then. Jin Kazama takes a stance and he starts using Jun's Kazuma style karate. And just as he does, you hear this. The fucking intro theme starts playing and our boy Jin starts using his mother's fighting style. It is one of the best pieces of in-game storytelling I have ever experienced. It was fucking amazing. I loved it. It made me give a shit about Jin Kazama. Jin Kazama is a great character. <laughs> I like, okay, look, I have been playing Tekken since Tekken 3. That is how I've been, uh, those 27 years or whatever, that's not 27. Oh my god, I think it is yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, th th that's how long I've been playing Tekken. And when I saw him take Jun's stance, it broke my fucking heart. It was beautiful. It was so, so good. Um, and it really got me. It, like, through the gameplay, it fucking just, like, pushed back 27 years of history. And I thought it was absolutely incredible. I think if anyone gives a shit about Tekken play that story mode it's so good it is so so good uh listen kozanagi we have talked about him starting world war three we all admit that it was a perfectly in in innocence uh he had to start world war three to kill the evil egyptian space god how else are you gonna do it okay I, look we're we're orichi morrowing it all is forgiven it's fine. Uh, we all we all make mistakes. We we all make mistakes. Um, so yeah, in hind in in uh, in summary, Tekken Eight is a good video game. I I I like it. I it's it's very good. John is fine with genocides. Well, that's not strictly true. It was all kayfabe. There there we go. That's it. That's it. Uh, mind you, I'm sorry, John, but I can't find Silent Hill Ascension episodes on regular Eye Patch Wolf. You keep bringing this up. I'm gonna look for them now. If I find them. Uh, I'm gonna ban you from chat forever. <laughs> the video is called The New Silent Hill is Getting Worse. Uh... <laughs> oh, but do I ban them? That feels mean. But, hmm. Is the finger all healed? Um, okay. So the finger is still technically healing, but I don't have to wear a splint anymore. And I was in yesterday and I was like, um... Um, I so I'm gonna be able to go back to training and he was basically like um, oh absolutely not no it's gonna need at least another three weeks of healing 
and it was real... <laughs> it was kind of like Hulk Hogan. I was like, well, that doesn't work for me, brother, except like without the racism. Um, and I was like, I, I just got to go back. And so basically he was like, I really don't think you should go back to training. Because like I haven't been, I've, I, I haven't had like a role in like six weeks and I'm losing my fucking mind. Like I feel myself becoming more monstrous every day and I need to go back to training. And um, so I'm gonna, I'm going back next week and I'm just gonna take it easy and I'm not gonna roll super hard or anything. And I'm gonna tape the fuck out of my fingers so that they don't get broken again. But God damn, I need to. Did you see Tem Kenneth Omega's temporary return? Oh, I did. Um, this will be the last thing I talk about before we start, but... I kinda, I kinda, cons I kinda see Kenny like I see Tagashi in that at this point, I feel like either of them could just walk away and never ever like, you know, never do anything again. And they could easily go down as, you know, two of two of the greatest of all time in what they do. And if they continue to do what they do, I want that to be a byproduct of them both doing well and being healthy and being happy. But the thing I want for both those people is to just be happy and enjoy their lives because they've already given us so much. Kenny Omega could never do another wrestling match and he he's a fucking goat. Like he would be on my Mount Rushmore of wrestling. He has nothing left to prove. You know, to me, like he is he is the second half of the greatest wrestling match of all time, which is Okada versus Omega 2. I just want that dude to be doing okay. I don't know how much of it this is like, you know, work or whatever, but when he's talking about like the possibility of wrestling with a colonoscopy bag and stuff like that, um, I don't want that for him. I want him to be healthy and happy and not risk devastating damage to his body. So, yeah. Okay, chat. It's time! Um, I didn't have a chance to do a proper flowchart, but I also don't know how to meaningfully update my flowchart. So we're going to watch a couple of episodes of this, and then we're going to... Um, I, I'm going to pause and be explaining as we go. If you are new to this, this is the new Silent Hill game, Silent Hill Ascension. Um, it is one of the most incomprehensible and baffling stories I've ever experienced. It's kind of terrible, I am also um, fascinated by it. What a what a bizarre thing, um, game. Yeah, it's not really a game. It's uh, watching. Um, it's where a notification from the withering. I will explain what I think. I now understand what the withering is. A withering. A withering. That's that's true. Yep. Um, brave mudkip. Thank you for the excellently timed subscription. It's not kind of terrible. That's kind of true. How does it tie into this? How does it tie into Silent Hill 2? Uh, Bio Nitelk? Excellent question. Um, not only has it yet not to tie into Silent Hill 2, the words Silent Hill have yet to be spoken in this game. Okay? No one has said the words Silent Hill. It's not a town. It's not a concept. It's not anything. But chat, yeah, okay, I want I just want to ask you something real quick, okay? How legitimately fucking hype would it be if someone turns around and goes, we have to go to Silent Hill? Would we not all lose our fucking mind at that happening? The Norwegian town is named Still Dalin, which means Silent Valley. <laughs> Why didn't they just call it Silent Hill? Why didn't they? Oh. John, the last episode you streamed was to episode seven. You're wrong again! Okay, chat, we still have a little bit of time on today's stream. So... What say, chat? We take a little trip... ...and return to a very special town. You guys know what I'm talking about? A withering? Here? Impossible. <laughs> We're going back, baby! Woo! Um, 
continue watching. Okay, so we watched episode seven next. So I think that means we're on episode eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen episodes, chat. Oh, oh, chat, we're eating good. We're eating good, chat. We're only going to do one of them tonight, but um, I can't wait to see how off the fucking rails this all goes. Okay, 24 minutes, vision. You wanted to see me? I was thinking of what you said to me when we were both lost in the withering. The withering? F11. I'm sorry if I was out of line. You're so important to the Foundation, I... I just wanted you to come back. Okay, I think by the next time I do this, I am going to have to construct another flowchart chat because I need to remember what the fuck is happening in this game. And I did come back. Eric, you did what you had to do to pull me out of my darkness. I've sworn my life to the Foundation and its people. I was failing them. I needed to hear it. But beyond your words, your spirit is what truly brought me back. What do you mean? You're a survivor, Eric. I only knew about the steel mill. I had no idea you'd suffered through so much when you came to this country. Oh, by the way, chat, just as a reminder, they have still not said the words Silent Hill in this game. I've suffered too. My yeah. father was murdered right in front of me. Someone shot him in the chest, mistaking him John for a thief oh, who had sorry, just robbed a bodega. I didn't know. Not many do. I only share it with people I trust. He bled out on the street. Jesus. There was nothing I could do to save him. I couldn't save my mother either. I felt so powerless. You were just a child. I promised my father I would protect her. And I couldn't. Now I feel like I'm failing all over again with faith. You tried your best to find her. It wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. 13 Mago, thank you for the subscription. Remember what Paul Radcliffe said. Remember what Paul Rudd said. Our deepest pains one day turn into our strongest armor. That's what he said on the uh, episode of Friends where he Eric, where he fights Monica in the in the, the table tennis here. tournament. I know you originally joined the Foundation because of Rachel. But she doesn't see your light like I do. Don't get me wrong. She's a fine member of the Foundation. But she's not a healer like you are. When it comes to the Foundation, I need you to put your faith in me. I need to know that you're committed to helping me stop the withering over everything else. I'm sorry, Xavier. But the only reason I'm here is to find faith. Eric, you have to face the possibility that the withering took her. But you can help other families. Uh, the withering is no, when everything gets spooky and her. a bunch of monsters I appear. I saved you from the withering, didn't I? Then I can save her too. <laughs> Oh. Xavier, you're needed in the library. I hope that's a character right creator. Oh, okay, so this is the first time that the, like, Norwegian storyline and the American storyline meet up, because these are kind of the main characters of each. Oh my god. Thanks. No. Thank you for what you did back there. What are you doing? I... I can't find my daughter. Wait. You lost your child too? I've searched everywhere. And now you're here looking for her? I... I think I'm being punished. For what? Here? Impossible. Oh, God. Classic Fungus, thank you for the my subscription. My out there with that thing. Listen. I lost my son. It's been weeks, but... I'm not giving up, and you shouldn't either. 
Maybe we can help each other. What's her name? Your daughter. Rachel. 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 What's going on in here? Wait. Where did she go? Is she here? Who? Faith? You know she's not. No! The woman! I... I just saw her and... Faith is still out there. And I think... Man, I can't believe they've been building up these two storylines for fucking eight episodes. And that's the first time they meet and that's it? You can't help me, Eric. God, this fucking game. Or this fucking internet TV show that is kind of pretending to be a game. Who's that? A friend of yours? I'm Detective Sandberg. I work... Detective Haugen was my partner. I'm not sure what you want to interrogate me about. I mean, I already turned myself in. It's cool that they let her do a drawing in jail. New information has come to light and you are no longer a suspect in your son's disappearance. Thank God. What did you find out? I'm not at liberty to talk about it. You said Haugen was your partner. Where is she? I can't discuss all the details. But let's just say we discovered something in your case that caused the department to suspend her. Why? You'll have to ask her. In the meantime, you're free to go. She's pretty good at drawing. What's up with this dialogue? Whatever do you mean? Did I miss the oogly boogler? Not yet. Oxloop Petterson. Uh, this guy might have killed his wife. God. We don't know. I missed you, Minchadista. This you is his wife's is. sister, who he started fucking while his wife Peter was Orbach. not not even cold in the ground. At the hospital. What happened to her? She, she died. <gasps> My God, these names. There were patients. Your patients? They were all in so much pain. There is so much suffering in this world, Carl. I can't stand it. I just want to help people end their pain. How did these people die, Mette? They weren't living. They had no hope. They were in endless Metty? anguish just waiting to die. But Metty, no what did you do? Sometimes when someone is suffering that much, someone should help them. Metty! Don't you agree? That was definitely a point Carl, where you would I make don't a choice. Think we should stay here anymore. We should leave this town. Never look back. Mitty, what? Where would we go? <laughs> Tell me. When we were young. Carl, buddy, when someone implies they may have killed a bunch of people, it's not really the kind of thing you just let go. I remember you talking about wanting to sail around the world. It's not too late to do that, you know. You can still do it, and you don't have to be alone. I will be with you, if you want. They might never bring that storyline up again. For true sight, an eye must be sacrificed. Eric, I don't want to talk about this. I can't just forget about it, Krista. Oh, that's right. Her husband... I watched that thing drag you off into the fog what these two were getting kind of romantic get he's married to the other girl krista this is my favorite character Are krista because okay? she's kind of sassy and i like her hair me what about you what about me right before i was taken you were finally starting to admit that you deserved better than rachel oh krista, rachel's listening you still haven't answered my question what happened out there i don't want to talk about it you have to talk to somebody. Where is this on your Riverdale that, graph? Ah, okay? uh, it, it's it's on talk the me, mediocre Krista. bad side. No. 
Come on, Krista, you have to talk to someone about what happened. Just drop it, okay? I can't. Why? Because I care about you. <gasps> Kiss. You do? Kiss. I should go. Eric, wait. Oh, Eric, you little fucking loser. Are you serious? I was I was getting ready to to to, to pop up out of my chair. I was so so pumped. Worst day of my life since my um. daughter died. You remember that day, Leo? <laughs> the day Asta died. Hey, Leo. Leo. Remember There's when no my, my, my daughter died? No. There. There isn't. So this is the cop who is investigating her for killing his her mur mother slash losing her son. 15 years. But no. They wouldn't even let me back in the building to collect my things. Great, it's you. Here to gloat? No. I'm here for answers. Is this is this chat? Why were you suspended? What did they find? They thought I wasn't impartial enough to solve your son's missing persons case. That doesn't make sense. I turned myself into you. That's what I told them. Your partner said new information came to light about Orson. What was it? They think I'm crazy. That's what came to light, okay? Why would they think that? Doesn't matter. Oh, the but fucking matter, dialogue is so I'm frustrating! Be as dead as my daughter. Don't say oh that. my god! Do you even remember my daughter's name? Huh? It was Asta. And she was only six when- Oh no, you don't! Get out! The hell? Oh, After and this you is- you broke my tables yesterday, you're never coming in here again. Oh, so I she's- anywhere near here She's yesterday. a drug addict, I I'm not the only and one she's also haunted. Wait. I think she gets possessed. She is the blonde woman's Astrid, sister. Tell this crone idiot that I haven't touched a glass in this place. Liar! I saw you with my own eyes. To hell with this! I'm out of here! Don't go, Brit. Let's get this sorted out. There's nothing to sort out! I won't take the blame for something I didn't do. Go fuck yourself! Whoa! Wait, wait. Assault Flamingo, this is how cool people talk. Correct. Careful air- Whoa! I, lo I loved how inconspicuous that was. Is it gonna be the Oogly Boogler? The Oogly Boogler's here! And Eric's getting boogled! Eric's getting boogled! Eric? Are you okay? What are you doing out here? I was looking for you. We can't be out here. It's not safe. I can't do it anymore, Eric. I can't stay in the Foundation while Faith is out here. Somewhere. Why doesn't anyone care about finding our daughter anymore? I do! I searched for her for days! I know. But it's getting more dangerous out here by the day. We have to be more careful. Think about what happened to Xavier. And Krista was attacked! You're thinking about Krista a lot lately. Oh! She's a friend. You're my wife. And I love you. Please, come back inside. I can't. I met a woman in the Withering. She was looking for her kid, too. Okay, I wasn't quite aware that the Withering was a place, no. but that's good information. This was real. I know it. You can't keep going off alone. We have to work together with the Foundation if we want to find Faith. What if I told you I found a way to bring faith One back? underscore dinner. It's boogling time. The oogly boogler. It's an Silent Hill Ascension Darker 2024. Darker than the rest of Radcliffe's yep. writings, but it promises true sight. For a price. What kind of price? An eye. An eye? Whose eye? Does it matter? Rachel, you're scaring me. This is what it takes. How do you know that for sure? All of the rituals that we've tried so far have failed. This is different. So either get on board with this or stay Joe, out of Joe, have you way. checked out the Ranger Reject anime? No, but I want to. I might actually, I might actually check that out tonight. I haven't checked out that or um, uh, Kaiju number eight either. 
I've read the manga for Kaiju, but haven't haven't checked out the anime yet. Are people feeling good about the adaptation for Kaiju? Is this good? A lot of roses so far. By the time the memorial happens, you won't be able to see the fountain. That's not true. There's not that many Come roses. On. Let's get out of here. Kaiju number eight, yep. Yeah. Heard your daughter turned herself in for murdering her kid. And now you come here? Please. So, I'm sorry. You can basically have your character no creator be one you of the. You being here is disrespect. You need to leave. Don't listen to them. They're not worth your energy. I love her. Let's go. Don't listen to them, father. They're not worth your energy. Um, so basically for some reason all the character creators look orange and now we've entered the withering I do believe oh no oh no that's them it was just a poorly edited shot is someone gonna get oogly boogled is someone gonna get oogly boogled oh no that's that's not the oogly boogler Oh no! Oh, 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 what's happening? Ava, we have to hide. Ava is taking this like a fucking champ. What's that? Something is coming. What's it gonna be? We need to stay here. I want to see what's happening. I said no. I need to see. Please. No, you don't, Ava. Who's that? Her child is missing too. She was looking for her. Where? Here in town? No. Here. But not here. Uh. It's hard to explain. But I think she's connected to what happened to Orson somehow. I need to find her. Jules, 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 like when I you're just oogling along and you get boogled, it's, it's sad. I'm sorry. I must sound crazy to you. Not really. I have Leo accusing me of damaging his bar when I know I didn't. I don't understand why he would think that. He's either lost it or... I have. For what it's worth, I believe you. You do? I think people have their ideas about you. And they're ready to make you suffer for them. But we can't let them. I love how natural every line of dialogue is. I don't know. It, it's it's like a real Wait, human where are you going? programmed the AI that wrote it. It genuinely feels like that. I don't actually think this is AI generated. I think it's just not very well done. Except visually. I mean, visually it's, it's beautiful. Like, look at that. Fucking great shot. In order to have the true sight is Doki Doki still on top 100? Then absolutely. I, 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 if anything, that playthrough raised my my love for Doki Doki. Blind to sickness, blind to rot. Blind oh, to the she's gonna cut out her eye. Us. She's gonna cut out her eye. Fire, grant me your sight. <gasps> Open my mind to your vision. Ah! The mihi visum ut invenias quad quedo. Oh, Faith, you've come back to me. Rachel, what have you done to yourself? Rachel cut out her eye to get her child back from the withering. Okay. Oh, they're dead. No, it's not safe. I need to see it. Let me go. Okay. 
Uh, this monster is called Big Billy Punches, okay? Uh, Big Billy Punches is very angry. He's, uh, he's a scary monster. The other monsters are scared of him. Um, let me tell you, if Big Billy Punches ever meets the Oogly Boogler... Whoa, ch chat, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Why? Why does she want to see the myself. monsters? Why does she want to see the monsters? This doesn't make any sense. You can't just give a character a motivation Ava. that doesn't make sense, Ava, and then have that drive the scene. Ava. What's even happening? I don't know. What? I don't know who that is. I don't think they've ever been in it before. In your family. Killers. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Answer me! Okay. Cool. Great. How could you desecrate your body like that? It was the price I'm willing to pay to get my daughter back. In fairness, she's taken so the removed back? eye like a champ. I don't know. All you did was open the door for the withering to seep further into our world. Xavier, I... No, I don't want to hear it. You'll have a chance to explain yourself at the tribunal. You have to listen to me! No, I don't have to listen to you ever again. I believed in you. I thought you were chosen to end this nightmare. But all you did was break my heart. You've made a fool of me, Rachel. Xavier, please. You should think long and hard about how you want to defend your actions. And if you even want to remain a member of this community. Eric's got a pretty sick jacket, in fairness. Wow. Um. Okay. We will now begin episode nine, Deceit. I will do everything I can to make this as make much sense if you've missed an episode or two. I loved it when the set, the protag said, this little mountain is very quiet. Stupid Esper, thank you for this. Or st Studio Esper, I, I apologize. Studio Esper, good to see you again, buddy. That was that 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 was a bad stream dyslexia brain. Okay, let's go. Okay. Something wrong with your dinner? Okay. This dude, in episode one, he may or may not have killed his wife. We don't know what happens. It seems like he did, but when anyone asks him... So his entire character, every single character trait about this man is that when someone asks him, did he kill his wife? He basically goes, oh... Oh, you, uh, me, I, j me, I, uh, uh, that, that, that is every single thing we know about this man. That is every emotion he has ever had is my, my wife, d mm, did I, mm. and he kind of stares off into the distance a lot. This, I believe, is his wife's identical twin sister, who he is now also dating. And um, the scientific terminology is Silent Hill 2 to his wife. Ah, correct. Uh, for nine episodes. For nine episodes. I, I, and I'm not exaggerating that. Please, someone in chat, call me out if I am bullshitting here. Keeping it in the family. I, I guess so. I guess so. And everything tastes like cardboard right now. Well, I got some news that may bring back your appetite. I talked to my friend at the NPS. She can fast track your passport. Pass. I 
thought you'd be happy. Uh, I could be mistaken. This is the first time that we a passport has been mentioned at all. Uh, this is a new plot line. Um, fantastic. Thank you, Meta, but it's not just a passport. My daughters are in trouble. My grandson is still missing, and I, I can't let the monsters get him. Okay, so he had to mind his grandson at the funeral for his dead wife. Uh, everyone was like, let's leave the small child with a potential murderer. And then a withering occurred. And a withering is when an evil spooky town comes out of the fog. And the evil spooky town has monsters in it. Um, there are several monsters. There's Crazy Legs. There's John Cena with fire. And there is the Oogly Boogler. And the Oogly Boogler is the worst of them all, but John Cena with fire is pretty bad. We don't know which of the monsters will appear this episode, but I have my hopes. My life is falling apart. And I'm doing everything I can to hold it together. Um, why are you playing this? Um, <laughs> Misty Chicken Mania. Impossible. Uh, why are you playing this? Correction, I am not playing this. This is something we watch. Why am I watching it? Uh, I'm just fascinated by, honestly, kind of how appalling it is. It is really something else, and I just want to see where it's going. There's 13 episodes of this left. Shh. We could figure it out together. feels like I'm running away. If it helps, you're running towards safety. Think of it that way. And I just leave my daughters and Orson behind? The boy is still missing. Why do you have this? I was going to explain that to you. Now's as good as time as any. You have to understand that I'm only trying to help. What did you do? The people in this town are suffering. What did you do? They're going to the hospital and they're not getting better. They're dying, Meta. Meta, what did you do? Did you do that? I'm not killing them. I'm freeing them. Freeing them? From what? From whatever it is that is happening to this town. <laughs> is Meta a serial killer? Is she euthanizing people in the hospital? <laughs> so, chat, I, I'm sorry. You need to understand. Meta has had no character up until this point like she has been nothing she literally showed up looks like a dead wife and then started dating the widow of the dead wife that is everything that she's done and now i think they're actually trying to reveal <laughs> that she's a murder she's like a serial killer this is incredible look around you don't you see something terrible happening out there Please admit it. Please admit it. It looks very bad, Meta. <laughs> I know what it looks like. And I'm telling you, I helped those people, Carl. <laughs> I know what you think you did. I did, Carl. You were so much pain. You left. What the fuck? Does that give you the right to kill them? No matter how merciful you thought you were being. You have to believe me. What I believe <laughs> makes no difference. The police are going to come after us one way or another. I was careful. The police will never figure it out. And... <laughs> what the fuck? We we are like. This is what Silent Hill is now. This is what Silent Hill is now. Like, <sighs> okay, it, it, see, it's it's poetic 
because his old wife was murdered and his new wife commits murder. So it does make sense. Um, are we 100% sure this wasn't written and performed by AI? Blaze Drag, I actually did a test before where I asked AI to write me a Silent Hill game and it was way more coherent than this. It's like poetry, it rhymes. Exactly, exactly, Meekest. And even if they do, we will be long gone by then. That's why we have to leave now. A chat, let me know if the volume's late. all right. Okay, um, this is, this is Carl's daughter. She is the woman who lost her child in Silent Hill. Um, she, not, not Silent Hill, The Withering. Too loud now, too loud, apologies. It's too loud. Um, drop it down a touch more. Okay, let's do a little quick sound check here. You look exactly the same. Haven't aged a day. I don't know that I'd recognize this new character, but yeah, this woman, child is lost in the withering. Nilf. Don't leave. Stay. Have a drink for old time's sake. Just friends, you know. What do you want? I want what every podcaster wants. The exclusive interview. I sit down with the new matriarch of the infamous Johansson family. My condolences. Oh, yeah. I don't what remember this I guy, but yeah, there was there was like a podcast team in town who want to do like a true crime podcast on her missing child for and like her child went missing maybe a day ago. <laughs> like it's fucking wild. Stand to gain from talking to you. You could give the world your side of the story. People love a tragic figure. Right. You talk with me and next thing you know, Maybe those investigations go away. Maybe someone hears about your son and has a lead. I've heard your interviews. What did you call that woman? Oh, yes. The baby killer of Bergen. Whoa. Can't imagine what you'd call me. Look, I'm going to do a podcast about you and your missing son either way. <laughs> imagine being so fucked up. That you'd be like, listen, buddy, I know your son's missing. Squarespace have bought, uh, have bought, have bought ads on the new podcast, and I, I got to put out something, uh, so you can be in it or not. I'm interested in the truth, but the truth is relative. So, whose story do you want the public to hear? Yours or mine? Contented content, man, from Meekest. Podcast yeah, is the builds of this anything. story from Studio I'm Esper. Good. I was just going. But she could use a drink. A withering? Here? Impossible. Oh, I hope a withering occurs soon. Okay, so that's basically everything that's happening in Norway. Now we are back in some town in America. This collection of people right here is a cult this is xavier i believe he is the cult leader he was going to go away for a little bit but now he's back this is krista krista's a fucking asshole uh that's her whole character she's our favorite but krista is also having this weird like romantic conversation they haven't done anything with the main character's husband and chat i i cannot stress this enough we so badly want Krista and the main character's husband to get together. It is all I live for. Okay, this is Rachel the main character, Hernandez, Rachel. You stand accused of crimes against the foundation. Oh yeah, did Rachel This tribunal Rachel uh tore out her own eye at the end of the last episode. Wait, so there isn't even a Silent Hill, it's just an unnamed spooky town that randomly pops up. Devil Lord, you are correct. Oh will decide your fate. What are the charges against Hey, just to watch. Good to see you. She performed an unapproved ritual from our sacred writings, mutilating herself and desecrating the sanctuary of our foundation. 
And how did you come upon these writings? I searched the depths of the library. A serious charge. Would anyone else like to present evidence? When Xavier was incapacitated, Rachel supported me to lead in his absence. Oh We've my god, that's that's really we nasty. Put them aside for the sake of the foundation. Rachel's loyalty will be noted. Rachel, before this tribunal decides your fate, do you have anything to say in your behalf? I know there are members who have been looking for reasons to have me expelled. So let me save you the trouble. I'm leaving the Foundation. Careful, Rachel. What you say now cannot be unsaid. Go ahead and write it in one of your sacred texts. I no longer trust the Foundation or any of its leaders. I'm leaving the Foundation and you Eesh. all. Rachel, no! Think about what you're doing. That's the problem. I have thought about it. Good luck. Okay, now we're back in Norway. Um, the storyline in America and the storyline in Norway has overlapped precisely one time for about five seconds when this girl right here and Rachel both occupied the withering at the same time and were like, oh, and then they went back to their respective countries. It took eight episodes to get there. I was pushing Brit and it just snapped. The links are rusted out. You should get someone to fix it someday. So Orson could be able to play on it. Orson will play on this again. I know. We'll find him. Papa? Is everything all right? I've been thinking about Orson and how I can help the most. You've been great, Papa. Not murdering him would be helpful. Sweet angel. But I know I've just been in the way. Making things harder. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not well, Astrid. I've been seeing things. Upsetting you and your sister. I've been seeing this... That's not true. Oogly boogler. And I'm just slowing down the search for Orson. Every day he's out there, I... Meta got me thinking. Maybe it's time for me to leave. What do you mean? She thinks I should leave town with her. I need to get well and maybe someplace brighter. Brighter. You want to leave town with Meta while Orson is still missing? I don't want to keep getting in your way. Maybe leaving town is the best thing I could do for you. And Orson. I want you to have the farm when I'm gone. Papa, what am I supposed to do with a farm? You can do anything you want with it. It's yours. There are too many bad memories for me here. No, oh, come now. Not all of them are bad. I find it odd that there's no Wikipedia there's articles for Silent Hill Ascension. Too. So that's one of the problems mm -hmm. with it. Like, one this of the reasons summaries are so hard to do of it because no, is because no, like, there's barely anyone who's cataloged any of this stuff. If this turns into like a farming sim, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Rachel also works in a hospital, and the same hospital that I'm assuming Mete has been murdering people in. You still don't understand iron, iron soda. I still don't understand what this is. This is an interactive web-based animated show that people vote on as to what's going to happen. You can't be here. Sure I can. Whoa. I'm the survivor of a mass shooting. I'm here for treatment for my lingering psychological... Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh... Um... What? 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 I, um, <laughs> excuse. Chat. I, I. 
I really feel like I'm losing my mind with this game. I, I actually feel like I'm going fucking insane. Delicious. So the question is, are you going to help me by answering my questions? Here? Now? Okay. Let's just sum summarize the pretense of this scene. The victim of a mass shooting is trying to use that tragedy to guilt trip a mother whose child is missing into being on his true crime podcast. I, I, don't, I don't know what this game is. Why not? They're not going to interrupt. And there's dead people in the room! Interview subject oh, Astrid Johansson, eldest Here? daughter of the Johansson family. Mikusai, thank Say you for hi, the subscription. Astrid. Appreciate it. Let's start with the recent suspension of Detective Houtman. There's been talk of tampering with and even fabrication of evidence. So my first question is this. Did you know it was almost impossible for Detective Haugen to identify her daughter Asta's body after the shooting? I'm sorry, what? Should I repeat the question? I... I... that had nothing to do with me, and you know it. What happened to her was terrible. She shouldn't have been where she was. Are you blaming the victim for what happened to her? I... that's not what I... I'm sorry, can we please start over? This is okay, they're talking about a third character who is a police officer who had been interrogating um, her and up until very recently, she, the police officer thought that this woman was responsible for her child going missing before mysteriously dropping the case without any explanation. And I'm not like, I'm not fabricating that. Like this is literally a scene where she's like, you're free to go, no more questions. And that was it. I'm going like I thought. Nope. I only needed one bullet. And I think I got it. <laughs> what is no, this no, guy's problem? Stop. Why does he hate her so much? Over? This isn't going like I thought. Nope. I only needed one bullet. And I think I got it. You know the old parable about the scorpion and the toad? I can't change my nature, Astrid. Just like you and your family can't change yours. No matter how much you try. I just really love making podcasts. Man, I love the scorpion and the toad. That's one of my favorite stories. Okay, this is Rachel. We're back in America. This is Rachel's husband. Rachel is the woman who quit the cult. It's this guy we want to get with Krista. <gasps> uh oh! Is a withering happening? That's right. Follow She's the spooky gone. child into the fog. Rachel. She left. Already? What did the tribunal decide? The tribunal didn't have to decide at Chicken all. Chicken Sephiroth! Rachel announced that she was leaving the Foundation. She... she what? She left us. Left you. And to think I believed she was blessed by the Purifier. How could I have been so wrong? I don't know, Xavier. What happens to her now? I don't know. But she's made her choices. None of them included you. Whoa! Faith is gone now, Rachel. I feel like I'm losing hope of ever seeing my daughter again. That's the withering. It drives us apart. Makes us feel isolated. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, Rachel and, and this dude are also uh, missing a child as well. Clearly, it's not as important. The, the child was called Faith, and Rachel has lost Faith... But she has also left her religious organization. You see, you see how that works, chat? The way you write a good story is to construct sentences that mean things literally in the plot, but also thematically in the narrative. And that's how you know this is a good story. <laughs> Shortly, a metaphor here? Impossible. 
even when we're not. I don't see how we're going to end it. Nothing we've done has worked so far. Then we need a new approach. Our strongest weapons are our connections to each other. Emotional, spiritual, physical. Are they gonna fuck? Don't you agree? They are. I guess so. They're gonna do it. We must be willing to give ourselves in every way for the collective strength. They're gonna the fuck. They're doing it. Do you know of the merging ceremony? Oh! <laughs> no, I haven't heard of it. It is a ceremony where two souls merge in order to strengthen parties. Was I right? Parties. Because two souls are joined are stronger than one alone. And how do they merge? They drop all vanity, all ego, all fear, and become one, physically. So, they sleep together? In layman's terms, yes. By feeding our bodies, we strengthen our souls. I want you to merge with Krista. You two have an obvious bond. We need to make that bond as strong as possible to keep the withering at bay. Don't let your loss of Rachel keep you from doing what you need to do. Guys, Silent Hill 2 is a pretty good game. Like it's a pretty it's a pretty good game. But you know, you know the one thing, the one thing Silent Hill 2 is missing is an orgy, okay? I, I think we can all agree that <laughs> the one the one thing uh it could have had is you could have got a bit more there is actually kind of fucking it's up. Anyway, look. I'm I'm speechless. I'm actually actually speechless. Uh let's Let's just keep going, chat. Let's just see where this wild ride takes us. Let's say I agree to do this. What if Krista doesn't? I think you should talk to her. Have you already asked her? I have. And? What did she say? Xavier! If there's a sex scene in this game like chat I, I don't i don't care look i don't know if this is not allowed on twitch uh you there's your warning i'm not turning this shit off for nothing i believe this is a withering a withering is occurring plot twist thank you for the subscription I did not recognize that character at all. I don't know what the purpose of that was. I'm fixing it. For Orson? He will come home, Angel. I'm not giving up hope, and neither should you. Oh, Papa. He should have had one all along. When you move in, it'll be ready. I'm not staying here. I'm gonna sell it. Oh. This was never going to be a place where I could be happy. All I have here are painful memories. And giving it to me isn't going to fix that. I don't know why I thought we could fix it up. I guess just wishful thinking. Oh no, the swing is a metaphor for the swingers in the foundation. Snoopster, thank you. Uh-oh! Oh! The trauma dogs! The trauma dogs are back! Whoa! Isn't that a beautifully constructed shot? There's genuine fucking talent in the people making this game. Like, legitimately. Hello? Did she just run into a random house? Who is it? Oh, if no. If you give me just a moment of your time, I can help free you from the horrors of this life. 
Oh my god. Get you out of the fog. Ah! Have you heard the words of Paul Radcliffe? You, you're from the Foundation? Yes, ma'am. And I'd like to tell you about everything the Foundation can offer. But wait. You've got to be kidding me. He was at the table earlier for the trial, and she's ex... How do they not know each other? There's like six people in the Foundation. Do you know who I am? A lost soul in need of support. <laughs> Can't you see what's happening out there? Aren't you afraid? Not while I have the purifier protecting me. The purifier can protect you too if your heart is open. I can see your skin. May I offer you the purifier's protection? Look, you don't understand. I understand what it means to hurt. And there is hurting in your eyes. Why does he look like Maximilian? This dude absolutely looks like dark side Maximilian dude. This guy is Maximilian dude's evil twin. You're not coming? No. How does she know that? You need to go alone. But I thought you loved me. I do. That's why I'm sending you away. So I know you're safe. I'll only be safe with you. No, Meta. You need to go where no one can find you. Carl, you don't Is understand how many people I murdered. About? I understand why you did what you did. You gave those people grace. You gave them peace when no one else would. Oh, Carl. But others will never. Okay, look. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that I think maybe the world needs to think it's uh, systems for how we deal with the terminally ill and what is, you know, allowing them a certain amount of dignity. So none of this is a statement on the uh, very complicated topic of euthanasia. But if one of my friends was like, oh, John, just so you know, uh, I've been like uh, killing people at the local hospital. Oh, that friend is gone. There, uh, that's done. Carl, buddy, you don't understand. I don't understand. You left evidence all over my farm. The police will figure it out soon enough. But... Listen to me. You'll always be in danger, and I can't live with that. Whoa. But I don't want to <laughs> leave you. You have to. Is she literally fading out of the story? I think... I think you're making a mistake. Meta? Okay, a, a wither... Chat? A withering is occurring! A withering is occurring! This is not a drill! A withering has, a, has occurred, and we are we are within a withering. That's right! No, it's true! It's true, Illimarok! Meta! Meta! Okay, which mo which monster are we getting? Is it John Cena with fire? Is it the Oogly Boogler? The withering. Meta. Impossible. Oh God. Sargon of the Cosmos. No. Thank you. Oh, Meta's dead, and her fingers gone. It's you. It's you. <gasps> it's John Cena with fire! He's here! What's Koi? Thank you for the subscription. Okay. Now we're back to this girl and her sister, who is both an addict and haunted. Like, by ghosts. God. I'm... I'm alive. But she... she was burned. Everything burned. Jesus! 
Papa, you scared the hell out of us. She's gone. Her face was... Her eyes... Who's gone? Are you okay, Papa? Meta. Her burnt flesh. I could smell it. Meta was burnt? How, Papa? The monster. I heard her scream. I think maybe you should go lie down. I tried to send her away and... Any one of us could be next. Papa, you're scaring us. Good. You should be scared. Is... Is Meta dead? Oh my god. She's really dead? You're not just seeing things, she's really gone? The monster killed her. Burned her face right off. I was so scared. It looked me in the eye and said, Hustle, and... loyalty, respect. I... I need to go. Papa, wait. Oh, trauma dog. I can't believe this scene is still going on. Fucking beautiful shot. Join me in the blessing of the purifier. This person is insane. Can you wait for just a minute? I'll be right back. Someone just asked, do the dogs eat trauma or are they trauma? Uh, the answer to that is yes. Detective Haugen, what are you doing here? It's just Olivia now. So this is the cop uh, whose daughter I died in, I guess, the same shooting what of the you podcaster? Want, you're the only one who knows what it's like to lose a child. You know that's why I quit being a child psychologist, don't you? My own patient killed my daughter. That's oh. why I became a detective. Whoa. I didn't want that to happen to anyone else. Um, I know it Even sounds like they're kind of like referencing previously covered material. That was all new information as far as I can tell. Olivia, I... Orson. I think he's alive. And I think I know how to find him. What? Where? Where is he? We have to ask my daughter. I found her. Astrid. Asta, she's alive. Wait. What? Asta died 15 years ago. I, I can't explain it. Who can explain a miracle? Olivia, are you... Uh. <laughs> oh my fucking god. We we were not at the end of the episode there. I'm going to try and go back in. Understood why she did what she did. That's why I wanted her to get away. So she Meet me at town and you'll see. Just be careful. There are things out there. Dangerous things. Things that want to kill us. I do really like the music that plays here. This this track is a good track. Maybe stop carrying around the murdered victim's uh, accessories. I loved her. I understood why she did what she did. 
That's why I wanted her to get away. So she would be safe. But you couldn't escape this place. None of us can. Not when those things, those... Monsters. <laughs> Ava, what's wrong? I... I think they killed my mother. What? I hated her. I really did, but... Ava... I... I think they want to kill me too. I keep seeing them. I don't think they're going to stop until I'm dead. They hate me. <laughs> they hate me so much, and I don't even know why. Ava, my sweet, I'm so, so sorry. You know, I won't let anything happen to you. I told you before, I don't want to be protected. What do you want, then? I want them dead. I want to kill every last one of them. She's gonna kill the monsters. She's, a, she's an anime protagonist. Uh oh. This is this this monster's called Mr. Wires. It looks like the one that came for Ingrid that night. Let's follow it. Ava. That's a bad Ava. idea. Man, she is taking the man being mauled to death by trauma dogs outside her front door so well. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Faith? Is that you, sweetie? <laughs> I wish they I wish they would get more than one sound bite of the laughter. Wait, did I miss the Molotov cocktail scene? Yeah, that was a couple episodes ago now, but it was fantastic. Hi mommy! Did I scare you? I missed you so much. Faith is is that really you? Okay, wait. Who else could I be? Okay, so she has found faith, which means that she may return to the religious organization. And if she returns to the religious organization right now, then her husband and Krista might be Silent Hill Bonin. Is what? It's where I am to understand this might be going. Where have you been? Here, hiding from the monsters outside. Did they chase you here? No, the purifier told me to hide here and wait for you. It what? It won't let you have me until it's sure you're worthy. Wh what do I do? You just have to stay here and look after me. I've always done that, sweetie. No, you were always busy, mommy. Always at the foundation. I've been a good mom to you, haven't I? Then why did I go missing? I'm so sorry, Faith. I'm so sorry. It's not my forgiveness you need, Mommy. Purifier. Bless me with your cleansing breath. Seem gonna it, be. It was awful. Hey, it's okay. You're safe now. You're. You're with me. The withering. It's getting worse. What did you see? 
I saw monsters. You saw what? The thing that... Uh, that he has seen me. several monsters. And something else. Something far worse. Maybe... Maybe there's a way we can make things better. <laughs> <laughs> we had a weird conversation. He, uh, asked me to... To merge with me. It's been a part of our belief system for ages. Two souls merging are stronger together. Do you think it will keep the withering from getting worse? I don't see how it could hurt. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I just... I can't... I can't... I cannot believe we're here. This is what it's all been for, chat. This is... This is why we... Watch everything. <laughs> oh... Uh, phew. Okay, um... Look, chat, looks like things are about to get pretty steamy, so, uh, you have your warning. And Xavier, he feels strongly about it. I... I guess so. I don't want you to guess, Eric. I don't want you to do it because Xavier asked you to, or because you think it will help me or anyone else. Then why? Why do you want him to do it, Krista? I only want this if you want it. If you want me. Krista, I... You don't have to decide now. Just think about it. No, no, we were so close. No, no, I want to see Silent Hill Bonin. Ah. Uh. Okay, well, clearly, chat, we cannot leave it there. <laughs>